Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Dishonored. I'm trying something a little bit different this time. Uh, first off, I actually recorded this entire episode and apparently didn't record it. So I'm re-recording it, so maybe this will actually go a bit more streamlined. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, less streamlined, a whole lot less streamlined than before. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna duck in here really quick. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you about the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... Derived from the what? Rivercrest. Oh, Rivercrest, yes, okay. I guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. Okay, so these guys, uh, sorry, I don't want to spoil it too much, but they're actually not dead. I didn't notice that the first time. I couldn't figure out where they were, how they were talking. Anyway, let's listen to this really quick. And actually, this was my first strategy, was I was planning on coming in here, getting a bunch of whale oil, and then just chucking it at all the tall boys. However, you'll soon see why that it won't be necessary. So let's go greet our friends down here. Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. <laughs> Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Yeah, so we'll do that, but I need them to make me something I'll first. I'll what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. So we got pistol explosive shot. I don't really have a good reason, honestly, to use the pistol, but considering that most of the other... Well, maybe extra volt capacity. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. Considering that most of the other upgrades just aren't of that much interest to me, I'd like to have the pistol ready just in case I need to actually use it. That'd be kind of nice. Let's see. Reload or an extra magazine? We'll go for a bigger magazine. There we go. So, now... If I get into a real bind and I want to use the pistol, I should have up to four shots available for it and explosive bullets, so it should be relatively better. But we need to get into Havelock's old room, which as you can imagine, the place is swarming with guards. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Oh, come on. Marlin Garland? I know how you feel, buddy. 
the Marlin Garlands. We might just make like a desperate run into the room after I stop time. And then make a run out of the room. I don't know. What? Why is no one making rounds over here? This better not be a joke. So there's one guy in the room. I think. What? Someone there? He didn't see anything, right? Probably rats. It's just them They're rats. Anything. Those rats. Ah. <laughs> Did someone close the door behind me? I don't know. Is someone walking on those stairs? Maybe. It is kind of bright in here, so I'm kind of surprised that they don't notice me. That actually went a lot smoother than the last time I tried this. Can't use that yet. We'll be able to use it in a bit. So let's deliver... The, uh, the plans to them. Oh gosh, without breaking my legs. Are you okay? I speculated this might happen. I didn't mean to jump on your head, I'm sorry. Here are the blueprints. Astonishing. The arc pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion? You seem to be very opinionated on the ashes bit. Burn them, Piero. Now let's put them to sleep because we're not terrible people, even I though we are and have killed a lot of people. Be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? Unfortunately, we have to. This arc pylon is charged. No one will dare come near us. So all we have to do is take one whale oil tank and plug it into the arc pylon receptacles, as they like to call it. This is a bad building for jumping up. If I didn't have that double jump thing, this would be really difficult. Let's hope no one notices us and attempts to shoot us while we're putting in these very explosive whale oil tanks. Beyond my greatest expectations. Ta da! Device description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Oh gosh. You lost a century. <laughs> I was kind of curious if that was possible. Unexpected. Unexpected. Oh my gosh. You died? Are you dead? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! It defies okay, good, he's not dead. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. I feel kind of bad about that now, honestly. I didn't expect he'd die from two hits. Anyway, so all we have to ooh, all we have to do now <laughs> is uh Oh, by the way, these are the tall boys. Apparently, I, I learned through one of the loading cut screens that tall boys apparently have a whale oil tank on their back, which makes them vulnerable. Maybe it's only when they're operational. There's, uh, so there's Callista over here, which is talking about how if we use the flare in, in Emily's tower, we can signal. Uh, Wallace has got a note here, which, if you read over it, is sort of sad, explaining that Lord Pendleton basically used these people right before he betrayed them. Again. That's a little sad. Don't like these tall boys. 
Can you kill dead? Can you kill unconscious people like this? Very resilient. Very resilient. Anyway. Here, you... You get one too. So, all we have to do is get up in her tower. Now, I don't know if we have a key yet. By the way, there's a general notice. I'm trying to run through everything that I did before. And surprisingly, the reactor arc thingy actually... What's this? I don't know about that. Uh, apparently it activates all the way out to here, so it's got some far range this thing does. And some more stuff. Another general notice that says the same thing, and Havelock's got a note here. So we were able to find Havelock, or at least a clue to his plans. Now all we have to do is get up to Emily's tower, which I'm going to... Well, let's see. Actually, there might not be a terrible way of getting up here. I'm going to cheat slightly, because I don't feel like walking around as much. This is the launcher that we need to activate. Let's listen to this really quick, though. Uncle Kurnow, I hope you find this. I'm devastated. The girl I've been caring for is gone. Emily is her name. Yes, that Emily. Daughter to the Empress. She's gone. They took her away in a boat this morning. I don't know where, and her hair hadn't been combed. I worry who will look after her. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. And now that we've done that, Samuel's coming in by boat. Our good old friend Samuel. I'm glad he didn't kill us. It's awfully nice of him. Thanks for, you know, giving us only half the poison. Thought I'd find you. Oh gosh. Help. I'm drowning. I saw the signal. <laughs> I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat. Help me. Longer. I've temporarily been rendered paralyzed. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. Now this lighthouse, this isn't just a lighthouse, mind you. Oh yeah. We, uh... We did good while doing bad. This isn't just a lighthouse, mind you. This is, a. Uh, this is like a fortress. island is a bloody mess. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily. Just after they landed. I bet the Admiral's got her locked up in the lighthouse somewhere. Hamilton's lost the first round. He's probably dug in someplace, doing his best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. You. I'm a little disappointed, Corvo. It's like you've gone out of your way to be brutal. No, I. It's been interesting they, they deserved traveling it. with you. But this is the last time you'll see me, sir. Goodbye. But. My only hope is that Emily comes But they were bad people, and I had to kill them. You don't honestly think this is my fault, do you? Out, Corvo. But. I'll let you go this once. But. I'm warning you, Corvo. Out of the boat. But I, I was trying to help. No, come back. So apparently you actually can ride in this boat, and I'm not going to, because last time I did it took me to, like, the edge of the map. It's kind of funny. Oh, gosh, hackfish. Uh, so the first time I went through here, I went for... Ooh, area map. Let's see. We are right about here. I think the first time I went, I went for a location about right here to enter the island. And I think that's our eventual goal, is the lighthouse, but I went for about right here. Like, I circled the entire water to get over here, and I found a spot. I think we're going to try a different area, just so I get a new reaction out of this. Why are there stairs up here? It's kind of odd. Oh, I see, okay. Little hatches that have stuff in them. 
So it's obviously really well lit on the harbor side entrance and the beach side entrance has a top has an electric tower. And there's hagfish in the water, I'm sure. Not in the deep water, but in this water. I really don't like the beach side entrance. That just seems so dangerous. Though, I was contemplating this before, but I never actually did it. I kind of want to see if I can crawl across that big wire. Let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to be cheating and using the, uh, using this power a bit to help. This is kind of working, actually. I didn't know if this would actually work or not. Oh, man. This is actually a technique. So you can't get up on any of the rocks except for, like, the farthest one. But it looks like once you've done that, you can actually get on these. I'm guessing this is fully intentional. Just kind of like a hard one to do, probably. Because you have to figure out how to get on the rock in the right way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I thought I'd face through that, honestly. I didn't expect to walk on the tiny one. It's not the best you can do. You disappoint me, Martin. Why don't you come down and settle this man to man? The view is nice up here. I'm not moving. Don't try to act brave, you worthless piece of inbred shit. Come and get me if you're so strong. Stupid blue blood. Let's see how you like this. Martin, you couldn't hit me if I was standing next to you. <laughs> Now I'll sit for a while and consider the problem of getting into the gatehouse. I need time alone. So, the first time I came and saw the scene... Let's see, where was I? I think... Crap. I think I was down that way? No, wait, no. I had to be down somewhere over here. And I saw these things had barbed wire on them, so I kind of assumed that those ones would too, but I guess they don't. I guess I didn't expect anyone to parkour on the rocks. So, we're gonna get... let's see. We need to get to Pendleton, and I don't know the best way to do that. The way I did was I went through the machine room. So maybe we can do that again. Or maybe we can go through... what is that? Lifeboat axis? Hmm... Well, we could go through the top. Like, I will tell you, that's where I ended the episode last time, is right next to that red light. All we'd have to do is... get across this without killing ourselves too much. Yes, of course. How much does that hurt? Oh, gosh! Someone there? Someone get over here! Get around him! Clear the line! Nope. Do they know where I'm at? Okay, I guess we're going... We're gonna go the way I went before. Oh gosh, turn, 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 turn. Only with more people following me than before. And another rune. Yum. Uh, do I want to use this for anything? Let's go with Devouring Swarm. I don't know if I'll actually use it or not. I'll try it at one point, maybe. We can use it to get rid of somebody if we need. There was also, unfortunately, we missed a dialogue option here because the people are worried about stuff, but they were they were having a neat little dialogue option that I wish I had here where... Or not, uh, not dialogue, but a little conversation where they're talking about how... They don't know if they're on the good side or the bad side here. But that doesn't matter. All we need to do is turn this valve. They're like, are we are we with the good people or the bad people? I don't know. Let's get devouring swarm in our bar so I can or on our well, we Yeah, hot bar so we can use it at some point. But I didn't know. I thought we had already won. 
I still say his lordship was right to try for the girl. The admiral was just faster. His lordship's landed us right in the shit now. You're right there. Havlik up top, Martin at the gates, and us in the middle. And our man's wounded. Shut your mouths, both of you. We're Pendleton's men. Live or die, we're going to act like it. <laughs> oh, that's less than deadly. Eat more rats. <laughs> In a kind of sadistic way, this is really funny. Here, eat some more. There we go. Now we'll let the rats deal with that as we run away. Go for the body rats, not for me. I hate rats so much that I just decide to make more. Don't say that, my lord. First my brothers, now me. It's my own fault. And now cousin Celia's going to inherit. That's the worst of it. <laughs> You've been a decent captain. A little slow on the draw yesterday, I have to say. But decent. Yes, my lord. Sorry, my lord. Oop, hold on a second. Had an alarm that went off I need to deal with. Anyway, let's deal with this guy. Huh? Oh, well, I knew you would get here. <coughs> well, you're too late. I'm already dying without your help. A stray bullet. I'll never know whose. What could I offer you anyway? You want money? Well, I'm broke. Women, maybe? Everyone knows you were screwing the Empress. I don't remember that happening. Women. You should meet my cousin Celia. <laughs> <laughs> we neutralized him. Are you guys ready for that sick kill cam? Anyway, so... It's obviously really dark, right? So I'm kind of wondering, because we know that if we... That we get a better ending if, you know, we don't kill as many people. So I'm kind of curious now if we had done better. Oh, good lord. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack Would these the guys not have died? I don't know. That is Lord Pendleton, though. He dead. You know, would he not have died? Would we possibly be able to reason with him? Would, would it even go as far back as to... Are those the rats eating him now? I was, that's what I was planning on, but I didn't know where the rats went. No. There's rats somewhere else. We didn't even go as far back to say that they wouldn't have betrayed us, and we would have all happily walked up and taken the kingdom together. I don't think you'd go that far, but even still, it's an interesting idea to consider. And this actually went a little bit faster than it did for me last time, because I was able to slightly optimize this route. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Today was, uh. Today was dark. And I'm sure it'll only get darker still. I don't know the best way to go forward. I do know that Martin's over there, so I kind of want to maybe. Yeah, this is where I stopped last time. I kind of want to maybe hop on that wall and crawl over to him and deal with him next. And then maybe we'll. get over to the lighthouse elevator. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. Looks like we're actually recording this time. Good. And I'll see you next time for more Dishonored, where we may finish it up. Thanks for watching. Bye.